Hey guys, about to play another match with the uh, See the Unwritten deck. We have a hand we need to send back with only one land in it, so we will. Okay, this one's a little better, but still not great. Um, I think we probably keep it and hope we draw well. Uh, we do get to scry, and that will help. So, we'll play our Frontier Bivouac, and then the Leaf Gilder on turn two. So, we'll play this Bivouac. So at least we'll have Teamer Charm ready to go, I guess, to counter something early. Right, so Mardu something or other. Allies, maybe. Right, Savage Knuckle Blade, that's not a bad turn three play, and it's something we can do next turn if our Leaf Gilder survives. And I'll end the turn. Allies make sense, but it could also just be a white weenie deck, although the fact that it has Nomad Outpost makes that a little less likely. Um, but yeah, it's probably... This isn't a warrior ally, right? No, it's just a scout. So probably an ally deck. I mean, we're going to take that. Our opponent is wise to swing there because... It's not a block that's going to happen real frequently. Okay, we have Frostwalker now, but I think I go for Savage Knuckle Blade here. Um, gives us the Ferocious we want. May get Stasis Snared or something, but... That's okay. And if we get to untap, we're going to be pretty happy because we can bounce him. We can use Teamer Charm. Probably just start swinging with the Savage Knuckle Blade and seeing what our opponent does about it um, while leaving mana untapped. Drawing more lands would be good, obviously, for us. Butcher of the Horde. Okay, well, that's a problem. Um... A difficult to kill one, not even with Teamer Charm can we kill that, so. I guess it may not be an ally deck. A deck that happens to have allies in it, maybe. We can kill with our Knuckle Blade, though, and um, swing with it. And he ha if he blocks it, we can pump it. So I think we swing with the Knuckle Blade. I mean, if he decides to block with his Butcher, then we'll, then we'll pump it up. Um, but if he doesn't... I'd probably play Frostwalker, um, although maybe Leaf Gilder. The thing about Frostwalker that's nice is it can also swing and kill thing, kill this, but he's not going to be blocking with it anyway. So, so I, maybe I should just play Leaf Gilder. All right, we are fine with that. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and play a second Leaf Gilder. I guess it's smarter to do it like this so I can bluff for all kinds of spells by having th that color untapped. So we're a couple lands away from being able to use See the Unwritten. But he does have a big scary beater in the sky. Hopefully he doesn't do something scary that makes us regret not leaving that up for Teamer Charm. Ooh, two Butchers of the Horde. That's pretty nuts. Okay. Well, we definitely need to get to see the unwritten mana. I mean, I wonder if he swings here. I'm going to swing with Savage Knuckle Blade again. I'd be fine just trading for one of them at this point, I think. Yeah, he's going to swing with one of them. And we go down to 13. All right, well, we get to gain some life back, and we're also one man away from CD Unwritten if we play our Rugged Highlands. Um, and from Green Warden, but the Green Warden's obviously not that great right now. All right, so we're going to take 10 in the air this turn. Pretty bad news.
Trying to decide if it's worth it to use Teamer Charm to kill one of them and get two for ones. It's probably not. Um, kind of sucks full Razor Regents in our hand because he could at least kill one of them. Okay. Um, I think I just pump him and play my Rugged Highlands because, I, I mean, that seems pretty good to me. I mean, that way, I mean, we lose a little bit of tempo, but I mean, all we were going to do is either have mana for Teamer Charm or Frostwalker. Um, that's not that exciting, and taking down one of these seems pretty good to me. For, you know, I don't lose a card at all. Um, I guess, he, yeah. So he decided to sacrifice it. Wait, why did he do that? Things are getting weird now. I don't know why my opponent did that. He may have a reanimation deck, I guess. Because this way he gains a bunch of life. But now he loses both his guys? I can't I can't fathom why he would do this. But I guess we're okay with it. We'll play our Rugged Highlands. In the turn there. Maybe as like Crux of Fate? I don't know. Even then, that's not like the best trade ever. Because he could have still swung at us for five this turn and then cast it. Instead of gaining seven. Or five, or whatever he gained. I would think knocking us down to nine is a bigger deal than him going up to 27. Doesn't look like Crux of Fate. Okay, Chasm Guide. So it is an ally deck. Just runs Butcher of the Horde as a finisher, I guess. Okay, so if we can draw a land that comes into play untapped, we'll have CD unwritten. Okay, so he's going to gain a lot of life. He can swing at us for three right now, but he doesn't want to. And I'm okay with that. Okay, we did not draw the mana we wanted, but probably okay um i think i swing with the knuckle blade again i mean we kind of drew it we drew a rattle claw mystic i think i probably play it and then leave mana up for teamer charm just to avoid any sorts of crazy things he might have planned i mean i don't know why he keeps blocking he doesn't have to he's at so much life that this i mean he may be a new player but it's usually not a good idea to, to chump block in a game unless it's going to save you save you a turn or you have you get some sort of synergy out of it. And gaining one life and taking one away from us isn't enough, I don't think, to make it make sense. Um, so, yeah, we're going to play Rattleclaw Mystic face up. This also gives us mana to save our Savage Knuckle Blade should we feel like we need to. I mean, it is going to be take a while to take down its 28 life, but... Our deck can get there without too much trouble, I think, um, with the kind of monsters that are in it, some of which are in our hand, two of which anyway. All right, there goes our Rattleclaw Mystic. So I have Teamer Charm to deal with anything really scary. Either through fighting, I probably would just go for the um, counter ability. Although, we can also make it so his small creatures can't block later, which could be relevant, I guess. Okay, let's see what he's doing here. He may have some way of bringing them all back. There is that black-white enchantment, but it would still only get him back Chasm Guide and Expedition Envoy. Uh, not enchantment, it's a spell. March of the... Something. Ooh, Rally the Ancestors. That, that'll do it. Luckily, we can counter it. Um, but now we know what he's doing. So that makes sense. Um, so we're going to counter this. Their Teamer Charm. Save ourselves from what would, I think, just be lethal. Because he would sacrifice everything to his Butcher to make them have haste and we'd lose. Yeah, it would have been lethal. So if he has a second one in his hand, we're in some trouble. That makes sense why he had his creatures die now. Um, I think, um, 
So I think I'm going to go ahead and cast See the Unwritten now. I mean, we're in trouble either way if he has another rally. So um, I'm going to go with See the Unwritten here. See what we can hit. We've got Ferocious. So Rally of the Ancestors has an even converted mana cost, so that might be good for us. Yeah, we did not hit what we needed for the even to matter. Um, Shaman seems pretty good right now. And so does Woodland Bellower. But so does Surak. Getting Trample is a pretty big deal, obviously. Um, hmm, the Bellower can get us a second Savage Knuckle Blade. But I think Trample is going to be pretty good for us. So I think we definitely get Surak. And then my second choice, I already have a Green Warden in my hand to get back CD Unwritten. I mean, this would let me get it back and then just cast it again next turn, but I think we have enough going on in our hand that we're not desperate for that. So I think I'm just going to go with the Shaman because he also has Trample. So And he can draw us a bunch of cards if he needs to, and everybody gets to attack. Well, not everybody, but those two guys. And they'll get bigger. So if our opponent doesn't have another Rally... I think we're safe, but if he does, uh, we're dead, basically. So let's hope he doesn't. All right, so these guys both get bigger. He may run Rally and the um, black-white thing that gets you back all allies with some... I don't remember what the number is, but... It, it's some amount of converted mana cost or power or whatever. I think it's eight, but I don't know if it's converted mana cost or power. Um, it's in uh, Battle for Zendikar. It's pretty good with, like, Calastria Healer. We haven't seen that yet, but could be around. Get okay, Grimhar specs. It's okay with me, although letting him potentially draw into what he needs right now is a little scary. Okay. So, I'm going to play the extra Savage Knuckle Blade and give it haste. Um, I think that's better than just drawing a bunch of cards at this point. Because we need to just keep the pressure on him. I mean, he's still at 20. So, um, yeah, we'll play. Except I need to not tap my mana like that. I'll play him. Play Savage Knuckle Blade. He can take down one of them um, if he really wants to this time around, but that's okay with me. Um, so yeah, we'll tap that. Give him haste. Um, and I think we just swing with all of these guys. He can also kill my shaman. But again, I think I would be okay with that. I mean, he can just single block the shaman, but he wouldn't get to draw a card if he did that. And we still get Trample, so. All right. So these guys all get bigger. So our opponent has to win this turn or lose. We knocked him to one right there. Our opponent gets to draw. Oh, I'll go back up to two. So he gets to draw one more card. He may already have drawn the Rally for all we know, too, but. All right, and I'll play... Oh, it's not my second main phase yet. Um, I guess I should have just swung with both of these, too. It would have been lethal if I had, so... He probably would have blocked differently if I had, I guess. Although the trample... I eh, probably should have just swung with them. So if he rallies now, we deserve to lose. <laughs> okay, he didn't. So, sideboard against a rally deck. Hmm... I don't know that I really have anything that really is well suited in this matchup. Teamer Charm's pretty good in it. That much I know. Dispel can't counter counter it. So none of my like roast running volley. None of those are really necessary. Nor is Whirler Rogue. So I mean, I guess the Thopter tokens can at least block the big scary guy. But yeah, I think we just leave things as they are go into game two 
All right, so this hand is not a good one. It's kind of the opposite pro of the problem we had in the last game. So I'm going to mulligan. Um, this one's better. It's not amazing, but the two teamer charms, and I don't mind that either. So it's not too bad. We have all the colors, like I said, and a mana dork on turn two. Actually, we won't be able to play it on turn two because of the way our lands, all of our lands are, comes into play tapped. Um, what land do we want? Probably green. No, we have double green and double red, actually. What we want maybe is blue. So maybe I get an island here. But if I get a forest and I'm lucky enough to draw, I think I... The only thing I need double blue for is my Icefall Regent, I think. And I have one of him. I'm probably going to end up drawing it after I say that. Um, let's see. Oh, Clever Impersonator also. But I have two things. And I think drawing the forest here, because if we get to draw a... Um, if we draw a, a land that comes into play untapped, although that's not ultra likely. Huh? I mean, we have Shivan Reef and Yavi Maya Coast too. But yeah, I'm just going to get the island. It's a better play in terms of mana consistency of course i drew a shivan reef okay well that's okay that means um in a few turns uh, we can do some different stuff some better stuff like next turn i can play i can leave teamer charm up if i want to i guess i may just play leaf gilder and play the rugged highlands so i can play my shaman the next turn so there's that grim harrow specs We will take one. Okay, Frostwalker also not super disappointed to see him. Um, but yeah, I think we play Leaf Gilder. We don't need to leave man up like desperately, although we could t potentially counter the big 5-4 guy that we had the problems with in the last game, but Maybe he doesn't have red. You know, I don't know. All right. So I will play Leaf Gilder. In my turn. Okay, he has a red now, but he can't. he's not going to be using it this turn. I'll probably play the Shaman if he doesn't do anything else. Yeah, I just take both of those and definitely play the Shaman. Make my Leaf Gilder bigger if he doesn't play anything else. Swing with the Leaf Gilder as well as the Shaman. Ah, oh, he's got something else. And that can block my Shaman pretty effectively too, sadly. Um, so, I think I just leave mana up for Teamer Charm. Which means I can also play Frostwalker, so I guess I will. Um... Yeah, I'll play Frostwalker. And in my turn. Maybe we'll just top deck our uh, See the Unwritten next turn. Shaman could help us dig for it if we get him in play. But it's probably a good idea to just chill with Teamer Charm, although countering his rallies is really our biggest the biggest thing we can do with Team or Charm, but also stopping a 5-4 Death Machine, which is what he's playing, um, seems pretty good, and that's what we'll do. We have another one in our hand, so we will counter that. Here he can still swing pretty much with his Envoy and his Cutthroat, because I'm probably not going to be blocking them. Killing the Cutthroat, you know, could be worth it, I guess. Um... I would definitely trade with the Grim Hara specs. But trading here isn't great because uh, he would get to draw a card too. Um, and here we're just going to take two. Okay, another Frostwalker. Not too disappointed about that. Um, so I will play him. Or it, I guess it's an elemental, probably doesn't have gender. Um, 
Probably still not worth playing the Shaman right now, um, except for that he could draw me a bunch of cards. I guess that's relevant. I think I am going to play him. Um, I'm not going to swing with him, but I'll play him so that I can use his Ferocious ability in the future. If he has another one of these Butchers, then we're going to be pretty sad, but it won't be the end of, end of our lives. Um, we can use Teamer Charm to kill it if we absolutely have to. All right. I am happy with that uh, outcome. Um, should I just do it now? No, I don't think so. I mean, what am I going to draw that I can play? I guess a Savage Knuckle Blade, but I don't think it's, I don't think it's super worth it. I think I'd rather wait to do it on his turn. That bluffs more things potentially being in our hand too, even though it's just a Teamer Charm, which is pretty good since our opponent's on four lands, but five lands. So we get to draw three cards, right? It's yes. All right. And he ends his turn and we're going to draw cards. Come on, see the unwritten. Nice fall regent, you're not bad. But you're also not amazing, but at least you can fly, so. Hey, there's See the Unwritten. Um, I think I probably cast it. Um, four, five, six, seven. So if I play this untapped, I can cast it. No, I can't cast it and leave mana up for Teamer Charm, but that's probably okay given what's going on right now. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna cast See the Unwritten. First, I guess I can tap you. Um, yeah. Four or five. Yeah, and we'll, I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, we're not going to draw any. I mean, we don't get to actually draw cards. So, but yeah, well, you see the unwritten here. Hopefully hit some big nasties. And we did. Glad I didn't play my land yet. Um... There's also a Woodland Bellower. So I definitely think we get Omnath. I think we get Woodland Bellower too because it gets a Savage Knuckle Blade. Um, Guy's Revenge isn't bad, but also not that exciting. So I think we get Omnath. By the way, Frost Elemental is an Elemental. That's a little mini, mini combo in the deck. I think it's our only other Elemental, but yeah, we have two of them in play right now, so it's relevant. And I'll also get a Woodland Wanderer. Bellower. Wanderer is a different card altogether. And we'll use it, and we'll get a Savage Knuckle Blade. Um, and I will play a land to get an Elemental. So things are getting out of hand. Um, I'll pay one red to give the Knuckle Blade haste, although letting him draw cards is just annoying right now. But I think it's probably worth it at this point. So is attacking with the Frostwalkers now because we have Omnath in play. So we'll attack with all of those. Okay, so if he kills this and this, we can use one of them to kill his Hara Specs and the other to do three to him. So, because they're elementals. So, we'll go, we'll kill a Grim Hara Specs. We'll do three to him. So, and we'll go to 12. He'll go up to 19, but then take a fair amount of damage. Gets to draw two cards in the process, though, which is not great for us. 
I guess we could have Teamer Charm to kill that thing this turn, but I think going for the more explosive turn is probably better. I mean, if he plays another scary creature, we can tap it down with our Icefall Regent, so seems pretty good. We're going to get another Elemental Token next turn, too. I mean, there is some chance he rallies this turn for four, um, but it wouldn't be enough to kill us. It would be a way for him to gain a bunch of life, though, and buy himself some time. Um, would it buy him time, though? I mean, I have a lot of damage. I have 9, 11, 17. Yeah, actually, it wouldn't buy him time. Maybe it'd buy him a turn. I wasn't counting the life he'd gain from sacrificing each of those creatures. Tragic arrogance. Okay. Well, that's annoying. Um, I think we hold on to Omnath. Um... Because he's going to keep... We know we're going to have at least one more elemental coming. He's going to take three from using Tragic Arrogance. Oh, he gets to choose. Never mind. He'll let us keep our Leaf Gilder. Yeah. <laughs> I forget how that works. So he'll take six from the two elementals dying, at least. So at a ten... Question is whether I should play my Icefall Regent now. Yeah, I guess I probably do now. At least I get some small amount of value out of doing it. I tap this down, get in for two. Let us see what we draw. Okay, another Leaf Gilder. So yeah, we're going to go with Icefall Regent. Um, and I'll play Sheev and Reef too, so I have mana for Teamer Charm. So this will drop him to eight. We'll counter any big spell he plays. Swing for seven next turn, I, th I guess. I mean, I could play Leaf Gilder to make sure I have lethal next turn, but I think I'd rather... Actually, it wouldn't be lethal because I wouldn't have swung for two. Oh, well, yeah, I would have, because I would have used these lands instead of other lands. So we'll drop him to eight. Hold on to our teamer charm. Ready to use it on any big, big game-changing spell. I mean, if he plays another small ally, I probably won't do anything. I would just start swinging in the air with my Icefall Regent. If it's removal from my Icefall Regent, I would probably counter it. Rally time? I think it's rally time. Unfortunately for him, we have another Teamer Charm. Yeah. So we're going to add red, green, blue, and counter the spell. It wouldn't have actually killed us, but it would have put him at enough life with the lack of, you know, board presence we have that uh, we wouldn't have been able to probably, he probably would have killed us before we killed him. So... I think I just hold on to the Leaf Gilder and bluff another Teamer Charm. If he has another Rally, I'm going to be pretty sad. What would he get back? He'd get back these four creatures. He'd draw three cards. I'd lose three life. He'd gain three. And then he'd swing for five um, and gain five. So he'd go all the way. Yeah, he would be bad, including the cards he would draw especially. Right, he goes up to three, which could be relevant if he like kills my Icefall Regent right now.
Oh, rally? Not another rally. Oh, God. Yeah, we're in trouble. So, he's going to draw some cards. We'll go to eight. We'll go to three. So, that's not so good. We'll go to three, and he will go to uh, 11. That's interesting. He chose to sack his creature that actually would have stayed in play. Yeah, we'll take it. I'm assuming he's going to give him lifelink. Why didn't you give him lifelink? I think he's dead now. He can't kill us. Unless he has like a um, wild slash in his hand or something. Then he can. If he gave him lifelink, he can get lifelink, right? Yeah. If he gave him lifelink, we wouldn't have been able to kill him. Oh, we still can't. Right. He's still gaining life, but like he, we really wouldn't have been able to kill him. He did that after combat was over, so he doesn't get the extra value. But we might still be in... I mean, no, he still is dead. Because, no, he'll go up to six. I mean, seven. He'll be one away from being dead. So we should have played our Leaf Gilder. Too bad we didn't. Yeah, we probably would have, I mean, we might still lose this game, depending on what our opponent has planned, but we would have lost this game utterly, basically, at least most likely, if he'd um, lifelinked at the right time. But we are at two life, so let's just draw one of our creatures with haste. Wild Slash. That could, that's a possibility. Because he loses this after, uh, right? That's how Rally works. Yes. Oh, at the beginning of your next upkeep. Interesting. So he gets some, gets this for a whole turn. But I don't think it'll matter. Um, it'll get exiled. Maybe Drew Sirok Dragon Claw. Yeah, he. As he noted, he made a mistake there. Um, I'm still going to hold on to Leaf Gilder, and I can flash in Serac if I need to. If he has another one of these and, like, another creature around, then we're dead. But we should have been dead, basically, anyway. I mean, he would have had a lot more life, at least. Um... So, another rally would be... Pretty sad for us. We are at two life. Colostria healer. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. If he has another ally, we're dead anyway. Do you have another ally? Do you have another ally? He's got something. Wow, another rally. All right. Well, we lost that one. Three rallies, even when you counter one, is hard to beat. Okay. So. Hmm. I don't think we really change anything. I mean, maybe Harbinger wouldn't be too bad. But I don't think it would be that good either. I would like to play verse. I think this is a keep. It's actually a pretty fast hand. I mean, we're not going to actually get to play a two drop because of uh, our lands coming to play tapped, but um, we'll get to play a two drop on turn three and a three drop on turn four and a four drop on turn five. <laughs> and we have a see the unwritten, so. All right. So we have double red and double green again. I think it's a good idea just to get the blue. 
ended up being relevant in that last game because we ended up hard casting our uh, dude, our Icefall Regent. Clever Impersonator, it wouldn't be bad against this guy. Being able to get his... Um, we know he has Tragic Arrogance now, incidentally, so we can play a little more safely, uh, uh, cautiously than we have been. We've sort of just been dumping everything out there, which we kind of had to do because he was at so much life. Okay, Duress, that's sad because he's going to hit our C, the Unwritten. But luckily we have a Green Warden in our hand, so it's not impossible that we get it back. An untapped land would make me pretty happy right now because I could play Savage Knuckle Blade and... Yeah, we didn't get one, though. So we're going to play Frostwalker. And we're going to play Rugged Highlands. And I'll end my turn there. And then Tuco Husk it is. Another Frostwalker. I think I swing with Frostwalker. I'd be okay trading with an Antuco Husk. Although I guess it means it's in his graveyard for his rally. So not awesome. But, uh, you know, it's a little more setup he has to do. The Husk won't already be in play. So. All right. We'll play the Knuckle Blade now. And I will end the turn. Our opponent, we may end up timing out our opponent, I guess. <laughs> Even if we're not going to win this one. That's not the best way to win, especially when recording. But our opponent has a very cool deck, though. It's not a version of Rally I've seen a whole lot of. Hey, that's a nice sideboard card. Okay. We draw land that comes into play untapped. We'd be able to play our shaman. He doesn't get to hit anything. So, duress actually isn't that good against our deck. I mean, I guess we have see the unwritten and teamer charm, and those have both been cards that have been good for us in this matchup. Um, I mean, see the unwritten is always good, but um, all right. Well, we'll just play another savage knuckle blade then, if that's what we're going to be given in the turn. He's two mana away from. Well, not really doing anything. <laughs> All he has is a husk, so. That is a piece of the puzzle, though. Another self-inflicted wound would make me so sad. Doesn't look like that's what it is. Okay, it's a Butcher of the Horde. I'm mostly okay with that. Man, we are struggling. All right, so we're going to swing a Savage Knuckle Blade. I mean, he may block here because of his See the Unwritten. I mean, uh, Rally. But it doesn't scare me enough right now to uh, to be worried about it. Um, maybe it should. There's not enough graveyard hate in Standard. Well, it kind of seems like he's just trying to protect himself at this point. Okay. Interesting. I could play my Shaman here, but it would probably just... He'd probably block it anyway, and we'd lose him. And all we would get out of the deal is a is doing a little more damage to him. Four more, I guess. And um, making our Savage Knuckle Blade a little bigger. So, don't really think it's worth it. Um, and if he blocks here, we don't even have to pump. So, we can play him in our second main phase, which is probably what I'll do. All right. Oh, I do need to play land, though, for that to happen. All right, so we're going to play the Shaman out in the turn. He's got one card in his hand. It could be a Rally, but Rally, all he would get to do right now is a few damage to us, so not too concerned about that. 
So I'm just going to smash in with both of these. Um, and I can pump my guy and still play Frostwalker, so I probably will. Except I accidentally passed. I wasn't sure when I, what I was passing right there. So we're going to miss out on doing that additional damage. But I guess the good news is we can save our Savage Knuckle Blade from removal uh, and bluff Teamer Charm. Um, so that's relevant, I think. Yeah, he's hitting all lands, which kind of sucks for him. So if we, hit a, if we hit a land, we can use See the Unwritten next turn. Um, and if we don't, I probably just swing with everything and then um, leave mana to draw cards or save my Savage Knuckle Blade. We drew the land, so... Hmm. I mean, this is 14, which isn't... Well, actually, I guess with Savage Knuckle Blade, it is lethal. The best thing to do is probably just to swing here. And I'll just pump him now. Casting C the Unwritten would have been fun, I guess. But, I mean, and he may have removal. No, he doesn't. All right. Well, we won. Um, it was a pretty cool matchup against a cool, uh, like, budget rally deck. Um, anyway, 